Hi folks. Uh, meadows, I love meadows. And oil, oil, cadmium yellow, pale, bit of yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine, some black, I'll put some more black out. Because uh, I use quite a lot of that. And uh, some burnt sienna, and if I need it, some, oops, don't think it went in the blue some uh, Viridian. Just a bit of uh, plasticised, I suppose you would say plasticised, um, melamine, just a very thin bit of hardboard coated with this uh, shiny plastic which I've used for a pallet before but I've just put a bit of grease proof paper over it and you can just roll it up when you're finished with it. Okay, so a bit of a meadow. So let's put in some meadow trees. So I'll use a brush here. So a bit of yellow, bit of bit of black, bit of medium, bit of red, and we'll just put in some I'm going to paint over a lot of this, so don't panic. I just like the yellow, red and black mixed. I did have years when I was using burnt sienna and red and blue ultramarine. And the idea is try and make try and make all your trees a bit different. Now we'll have some bigger ones, I think. Make these a bit bigger. Going into a bit of distance here. All right, that'll do for a minute. Uh, put the brush aside. Uh, a bit of um. Bit of meadow grass. Uh, that's too Viridian. And a bit more yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is a great mixer with uh, Viridian, but you have to be careful with it because it can be very bright and bluish. Oops, Ooh, put too much of that out. We'll modify that. Nice bit of grass, a lot of different colours. Bit of, bit of shadow, plenty of oil.
Well, it's sort of an impressionist feel to this. Okay, we'll leave, leave that as a foreground for a minute. Touch of green. Well, there's quite, quite brightish. Sometimes my my foregrounds can end up a bit a bit dry, but that'll do for a minute. Let's get a, another brush here and we'll work in a sky. Uh, don't know what brush I've used. This is the second one I've done today or this morning. So a we'll bit of oil. Let's have a bit of bit, bit of blue. Touch of red in the blue. Paint down into those trees, then we can uh, easily put the light back or the trees back over it. Picks up a little bit of a uh, bit of road colour. The sky today is a bit a bit monoish. Ah, that's where that's where. No, oh, keep going just a little bit there. Well, that's all right because I'm going to go in go over that with some nice. Nice light. Touch of red, in with the ochre for the sky. I just clean that that mucky stuff off the uh, off the brush. Put a bit of uh, shadow. Just a bit of mauvey. 
color. I just work at Sky's each other. I think they look okay, as good as I can get them at this time. back over the trees now, the tree brush. Uh, so get a mocha. Oh I'll keep what I had, the, the three the yellow, the red and the, and the black. Put some blue in there. Now I've got to be careful here because I don't want those these three rich clumps of trees to to be the same. Clean the brush and I'll put some more sky back in there. Change that there. So just get the uh, clean those two brushes. Right. See how easy it is. That is to go over. And I can put a little bit of that blue back in there. Right, go back with my, my tree brush. Blue. Let's get some dark on that horizon now. See, the more colours you have, the more confusion you end up with. So keep your palette, use your favourite colours. And only now and again add another one because if you put all your colours out, you're, you're, you're inclined to use them. 
to, and it all goes a bit confusing, a bit, bit wrong. Right, let's get some nice lights on there. some warmer colours in there. Got a bit of nice brilliant, brilliant green. Just such a little bit of detail here, a few poppies, ubiquitous pocket poppies. Oh, Frank Clark's a great one for doing this. Well, I think it's quite a nice little, little meadowy scene there. Soft, 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 soft. Okay, I'll sign that. I'll put it in a in a mount and hope it uh, fits. I should have checked before I even started. The last one didn't. Right. I play meadows because I like them. I've always an ambition to eventually paint a decent meadow. And I'm still working on it. Well, let's face it, you never get quite as good as you want to be. We never do. I don't know if it's... Okay, well I think that's a quite a nice little little meadow scene. 
I'm pleased with it. I hope you like it. That's number two today. Thanks for watching, guys. I might do another one. I've got th th three balls to paint on. I've got my last one here, nice and nice and rough. So we've done a watery one and uh, a meadowy one. I don't know what we're going to do next. See you soon. Bye bye.